My name is George Behrens, and he's going to give us a presentation today on a really, really valuable business tool that we all can make use of. So he's going to be explaining um, the, the program for you. We won't all be able to get on at the same time, so I think it's better if we just listen mm -hmm. and listen to what he has to say. Okay? So without further ado, this is George. Hi. <laughs> anyway, uh, I wanted to tell, I was telling Nancy before, for large uh, real estate companies, we usually suggest you start with a six user version, which means that six people can be on the server at once from your account, okay? So don't go nuts and start using it all at the same time now because you'll all a lot of you'll be knocked off, all right? The trick is that after a short while, um, some of you will not use it because you have other ways or you just don't feel like being on it and it will be easy. With six people uh, at the same time is more than enough for a large, you know, office. So just bear with us at the beginning, you know, until you get, you know, like maybe try it a little late at night, see the night and stuff like that. You guys have a password. I'm not going to use that password to go in myself. I'm going to use my uh, password. But your, your user ID, oh, by the way, the way you get at it is you go to Bressers.com and then on the middle of the page, and this is the only time that I'm going to back, back out to the X over here because the program doesn't like Okay, I'm going to go here. It doesn't like that back arrow, okay? If you're in the program, don't use it. That's number one rule. Number two rule is do not X out. Do not X out here. You'll have a log out uh, little sign on the top right. Log out. If you don't and you just X out, the computer will think you're still on and it will hold the program for 20 minutes before it lets go. Okay, so be considerate and always look out. Okay, so I'm at Bressers.com and I'm going to go to Online Directory Login. And your user ID is AB11541. AB11541. Case sensitive? What's that? Case sensitive? Capitals? No, not really. A and uh, the B password is just 11541. I'm going to use mine, though. And what was the login again? I'm sorry. A, B, 11541. And the password? Can we change the password? 11541. Tim changed it. Um, it will announce that. Oh, okay, so I can worry. Don't worry about the login information. It'll be sent to everyone. You always have to click on I agree, you know, the user agreement underneath the little box again, otherwise it won't let you in. All right. Uh, the only thing you don't have in yours, because, you know, it costs more money and it's not that important, is you don't have the aerial view in yours, okay? But the way it starts is you do the neighbor search, and the neighbor search is where you would be driving through a neighborhood or something and you will see a house that maybe you're listing or something like that and you bring it in here and you'll use it as a, play, a way to get into the neighbor search which would be either a map or you are going to be looking at the street up and down okay I'm going to use my home as an example 2100 northeast the street has to be 204th or 203rd, or 202nd, or 205th uh, space. S or ST, don't spell street, don't spell avenue. A, A, V, uh, court, C, T, uh, terrace, T, E, R, but don't go past that. Um, you probably don't have to use the zip code because you're, all you have is the uh, Palm Beach County. So there's not going to be another address like that in the county that's, you know, a duplicate of your address somewhere else. But I'm, I'm in, um, this address is in Miami, and I have the whole state, so I'm going to put in 33179. 
all right? Uh, on the bottom it says, list all records, mailing, or telemarketing, okay? When you're looking to search a, a, for a specific address, go to list all records, because if the person is in the telemarketing and the do not call list, then it wouldn't appear. So just for that, use um, list all records. Afterwards, you can get rid of you know phone numbers that are in the do not call list. So anyway, I'm gonna say search. And there, there I am, and it would say, you know, uh, George Barron's, 2100 North 243, Miami, Florida, 33179, my phone number 305-935-0944, and it says that I'm in the do not call list. See, DNC? Okay, you could conceivably go to the map link right there and take a, uh, it, that will go to Google Map, and it will show you, you know, the actual address in the map, and also a picture of, you know, the residence or the business, whatever. But all I'm doing here is looking for a map search. You could also do a radius search directly here, say, I want 0.3 miles from that residence. I'm gonna to go to map search. And in the map search, there's the house, there's I-95. I can say freeform plotting, or I could say a radius search. Right now, to show you the freeform plotting, I'm gonna click on that. And then I'm gonna just say, okay, I wanna download everything from here to here, <coughs> to here. In right clicking or what? He, uh, left clicking. Left clicking? Yeah. And then I go down to the bottom and say I want to see available prospects. And it's coming. There you go. All right. So now you have um, 100, 143 records in the area that we were looking at. Okay, That's cool. And per page, you have 100 records. So here you have one and a half pages of, of records, okay? I'm gonna say that I wanna download everybody, which would be all the way. By the way, there's an occupant unknown. That's because we know there's a house there, but all of our records are showing that, you know, we don't know what's going on there. There's no owner, you know, of records. So it says occupant unknown. Um, I'm gonna go up to the top and say, okay, I wanna download. I wanna download all records, or maybe you just want the current page or a number of pages. By the way, you can download 1,500 records at a time. There's no limit in how many you can download overall. But, you know, you're realtors, you're not gonna be doing more than 1,500 records because you don't have time for that. But anyway, if you say you have a whole zip code and you want to download it, telemarketing do that, you know, like air conditioning, telemarketing or whatever, what you do is you say, I want to go from page, you know, say there's 3,000. You say go to page one slash 15, that would be 1,500 records, and then you start 16 and download to whatever you want. But as I said, I don't think you'll ever do something like that. Okay, so I want all records. I also, there, it's gonna ask you, okay, what kind of format do you wanna download it at? And I wanna download it as an Excel with common fields combined. I just want a spreadsheet. I could have asked labels, see underneath you have labels, or you could do it in a CSV format if you have some sort of dialing system or something like that that you use. Okay, so that's all done. And I'm going to go down here. Oh, by the way, you can see that not only does it tell you uh, the address and, and the do not call or here's an okay record. The more affluent the neighborhood, the, the least, less number of people that you will find that you can call. You know, it's reality of the times. And we have no cell phone numbers. It's illegal to publish directories of cell phone numbers. So we don't have them and we don't have also, you know, private numbers or unlisted numbers. All right, but look, not only do you have that, but you also have the purchase date when the house was last sold, right? What the purchase amount was and the estimated home value. Now, the estimated home value, I always get into tests with the realtors because they say, no, that's not how much the house is worth. That's what the property appraiser's office has listed. So, you know, that's what we go by. Now I'm going to go down to the bottom. So 
Okay. Just to make sure, yeah. Okay, so we have everything highlighted. And I'm gonna say download. Now you have to have Excel or you know some sort of a spreadsheet. I'm sorry, what did you say the okay meant? Okay means that you can call them. I They're not in the do not call. Them. Okay. Do we just have Palm Beach County? Is that what Yes, we yes, that's what you got. All of Palm Beach County. Again, if you wanted Broward or whatever the county is north of you, it's extra money, you know, we, we can do it. So if there's a big demand for a while, you know. Thank you. All right, so there it is. It's a spreadsheet with everybody's name and so forth. Uh, I, I'm going to X out of that because I'm not in the program right now. This is an Excel sheet, so. We are kind of in the border, you know, of two counties. It's me. Yeah. And uh, can we do half of one county and half of another <laughs> for the same price? Yeah, we also made to be brown. Broward. Broward. <laughs> Broward. 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 Delray and there's unbroken right. It covers this south part of Palm Beach oh, County, okay. and on the Broward side, it covers all the way down to Y595, oh, including oh, West. That's okay. Most of Broward. So that that would be you know, and it would that would be the same price actually. Oh, good. Right. That's good. Okay. Fort Lauderdale. Good question. Yes, it covers Fort Lauderdale. Oh, it doesn't, okay. it doesn't yeah. cover Sugar uh, uh, City or uh, Glen, uh, not Glen, it doesn't cover Plantation. Oh, or even Glen Beach. Oh, okay. So that Pines, is. So Miramar, it doesn't cover those. But it covers oh. everything from 595 all the way to, like I see you said. It's a good area. Oh, that's good. So, yeah, but that's not what you're about right now. So, okay. Oh. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah. So we'll talk, we'll yeah. talk about yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to whoever made the decision, like Mr. Barber. I don't know. Guys, can we not? Can we just learn how to use the program? And no. if you all love it, no, that's why. And you all right. then yeah. take it to the ALC and figure out how you're going to yeah, pay for it. Yeah, we're going to talk about seven. that later. You Thank you very much. Else. Let's continue with the class. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to clear all selections because I already did that. Oh, wait, you know what? I'm going to do this. Uh, let me show you. If you go to labels, and you don't have to do it with 1,500 records, you know, but maybe like if you list a house, you want the nearest 20, 50 records, you know, you can just go here and uh, say download. And when you do this, read all of these directions here because you know, you have to make sure that you get some of these things clicked on and off, otherwise the labels won't fall exactly where they should, and every labels are very expensive, so you don't want to waste a lot of uh, sheets and so forth. So make sure that you read, read the printing instructions here. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to X out of that. But otherwise, remember, oops, don't tell me. Oh, I did it. No, I did it. You I did it. it. You use the back air. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> In the old program, because this this um, platform got this was, was uh, re reformatted back at the beginning of this past year, and before that, used to have a button that said clear, and it would clear everything out. But for some reason, the programmers probably couldn't do it. I don't know. They they didn't do that, and it makes it a little bit hard. Okay, you can go to renters. You know, I will show you all the renters in the zip code and so forth. 
I don't know, that could work for you. Commercial, you could take, like for example, you're in, you have a, a loft for lawyers in downtown Palm Beach, whatever. Uh, you could say, uh, go to SIC lookup, which is standard industry classification, okay? And put, let's say, I put legal. And search. And then say, okay, um, <clears throat> okay, submit all of these. And then give me a zip code around here. Three, three, three four, four, three, two. Four. Three, three, four, 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 three, four, three, one, three, one, three, one, three, one. Too many. Okay. Missed the step when you were on the uh, SIC. I think I must have. <laughs> yeah, probably. You're right. Let me see how I can go back. So, okay, whenever you want to go back, always go to here. Remember, don't go up there. Go to search when you want to go back. And you see the log out? That's how you X out. You log out here on your right. Don't X out over here. All right, so I'm going to try it again. So, SIC, look at, look. Uh, look up. I'm going to put legal. And I'm going to click on the first one. Shift. Click. Well, before you before you before you hit to me before you hit to me that arrow. Oh, oh. There you go. Thank you, Robert. You're good. Are you doing next week with us? <laughs> yes. It worked. Are you the techie guy here? No? Not the, uh, he is I am now. <laughs> <laughs> that might be Susan. Okay, so there they are. So oh, how many we got? Uh, 320 or something. Yeah, 320. Oh, okay. Alright, so I am going to search again. And I'm going to clear this. And I'm going to go to directory. Now the directory, I, I want to show you a trick that a lot of people use, and I'm going to use that B3431, right? That's the symbol. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, 33431, I'm going to say residential. Uh, I'm going to say 561 area code. Um, I'm going to say homeowners only, confirm homeowners, all right? And, uh, and I'm going to say I want a telemarketing list. And now I'm going to say search. And that was on directory? On yeah, the yeah. In other words, I went all the way to the other side. Not neighbor search on the left, but mm -hmm. directory on the right. And there were only 342 uh, records, which is interesting. That's how few people are still not on the do not call Using list. The okay? Oh, to telemarketing. So and they're all the lawyers that we just saw. Right. Uh, <laughs> so the, so all the uh, DNC says okay and agree. Okay, so, so you put in confirmed homeowners, right. residential, yeah. and area code, those area, three things. Not area, yes, area code, because I just wanted to make sure that it was only people with a 561 number. And then, and then, um, and then you go to telemarketing. Right. Right. So... Uh, you can even, homeowners. now the trick is usually I get more, I get like 2,000 records and stuff like that. But what I wanted to show you is, and, and realtors do this, they'll say, okay, let's order this whole file by estimated home value. So now it's 
going to be shown in descending order or something, and then you go to just the, the range of pricing that you actually concentrate on. You know, maybe you only sell from 400 to 800, and you know you don't really bother with the mega mansions and so forth. So you can then go and, and crop your list to just that range that you feel comfortable with. So in order to do it, right now, this is being um, ordered by phone number. You see it in yellow? I'm going to right click and I'm going to say clear sorting on their phone mm -hmm. and I'm going to go to estimated home value, I'm going to right click again and I'm going to say sort in descending order. And now everything is here, uh, hopefully. Under the phone. No, and it didn't work. Oh, yeah, nope. yeah, 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 there it is. It's yeah. Work. So yeah. it's everything in estimated home value. And, uh, that cuts it down to a manageable number of residences, so it's a it's a good way of you know doing that if you're interested in you know a, a complete uh, zip code and you want to just call. It. Yes, sir. Is that, when is it updated? Uh, it's updated 13 times a year. We have information coming in every day, but it has to be corroborated by at least a second source. Okay. After we have that 13 times a year. We stop and we put all update the information in the full database, which is the entire United States. So, so, you know, so what do you do with the OKs that become do not calls within the 13 month period? The do not call information is updated weekly. Okay. So it completely independently of when the pro uh, record has been added or subtracted from our database. Is, so is this the old blue book? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> the old book has evolved a little bit since then. Um, How accurate is uh, the numbers? You know something? It's 100%. And when we were having the really bad times where people were leaving their houses and stuff like that, we used to get some of our customers calling and said, you know, I call that number and it's disconnected and stuff like that. A lot of people were leaving their houses or losing them or whatever and walking away. So our level of uh, inaccuracy was higher then. But usually what it is, it's being uh, thrown or, or, or managed by like telephone company input. And we get that, like I said, 13 times a year. Sometimes a company, after a person leaves the house, it might take like a couple of months for the telephone company to realize it. Maybe they left, you know, or if it's a, a, an apartment, you know, they, they're a lot more transient. It's very hard to say, but you know, it's going to be less than seven percent. You know, that's okay. the, the industry standard. That's great. Yeah, um, but no cell phones. Remember that. <laughs> um, so anyway, so call early. <laughs> I'm going to go back to search, and again, I'm going to clear this. Okay, so we take that zip code out, and we take is there no it. clear all button? No. Let me see that I cleared everything up. Okay. Um, can somebody give me uh, uh, like an address here in this area for me to look up? 214. Yeah. Northeast. 26th Street. See, so I put the TH. Do you know the zip code? 33431. See, I, because I'm now searching for something. I'm not going to put telemarketing down here. I'm going to put list all records, okay, to make sure that, that I get something. Boy, it's thinking, it's thinking. Uh, What's a wild card? You know, that you don't have to put it. Of course, you know, if you have the information, it would show there's a Paul Karnak there. Yeah, yeah it's spelled it's from it. Did you say it's spelled wrong? That's, that's yeah. him. There's not two A's in it. Yeah, that, that's right. That's a strange way of spelling that, whatever. Uh, okay, so you can actually look at the, at the map link here. As I said, it takes you to Google. And... Uh, for some reason, the Google truck never got there because there's no picture. 
No, it's, there's a blank picture. But anyway. Wait, oh, oh, there it is. 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 To search, and I'm going to go back to neighbor search because I think that that's the one that gives people the most problems at first. So uh, I'd like to try another address around here somewhere. Can you give me an address? No, Mr. Carnot. I've got one. 120. Okay. 120. Because it's going to produce a lot. It's a condo building. 120 Southeast okay. Fifth. Fifth Street. Fifth Avenue. Fifth? 33432. Three, 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 Do you want the unit number? No. It's a condo no. building. You're just going to search it. That'll get a lot of results. <coughs> oh, wow. There we are. Let's see how many. No. It's not a directory list. Plots? Yeah. Oh, that's oh, right, because we're in neighbor search right now. Right. 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 And all it's going to do is it's, we're going to go to the map, you know. What about the blank do not call this? <laughs> when it's blank, <laughs> we, just, yeah, we don't, we don't, it doesn't have a listed phone there's number. No number. Right, there's no number. number. So the reason why they give, didn't give us the number of records is because, no, because we're in neighbor search now. We're not in the directory, okay? So I'm going to click on there, and I'm going to say map search, and it shows you where it is. And I'm going to say this time radius plotting, because that, sometimes that's easier to do. Because there's a couple of buildings around. Right. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, I just want to go right around here. All right? Mm -hmm. So I got a radius instantaneously. And oh. now say, okay. How big is the radius? Can you guess? Well, no, I, it's just a good mm -hmm. map. If you wanted to give the actual amount, then you go to radius search at the beginning. I'll show you that again. But mm -hmm. see, here's everybody at the 100 building. <coughs> And then the 120 building, and so forth. Uh, what was it, 120, the yeah. address you gave me? Yeah, 120. And what was the, uh, the, the unit number? You can do, you didn't put a unit, but it's 331. 331. 333, 320, oh, we don't have it. We have really? <laughs> 33, we have 320. 331. Why wouldn't we have Five. Five. We don't have, we don't have every single one of them. There's definitely a home number there. So I knew there was, and I think it's not on the do not call list. So. That's not uh, what, what, what is the name? Fife, F-I-F-E. F -I -F -E. <laughs> <laughs> Witness protection. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's my mother-in-law will answer. Don't worry. She'll go, what? <laughs> By the time you get through it, no one wants our tour. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it, Skip, we don't have it. That is crazy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Um, yeah. That, that yeah, happens sometimes. You know, we just, we're not 100%. It's just, this is a tool. It's, it's a, a way of prospecting, and you got to go with the numbers. The more numbers you call, the more chance you have of making it. Now, 1985. Yes, so, on the commercial side of it, okay. if I put in 2424 North Federal Highway, which is this building, I yeah. would have every business phone number that comes up. Sure. And okay. there, there, don't worry about do not call. A lot of the lawyer offices That's put that there cool. on the do not call list. Wait. You can call any business. There's okay. Well, this is a silly question. Yeah. But Suzette, I don't, did you notice this? Simmentog is actually our listing, but it's deeded under his wife's name, and you've got it under the husband's name. If he's not on the deed, how is this happening? It's just, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, this is our listing. <laughs> Same last name. The phone number. Yes, maybe. Most it's just that the phone been. number's under his name. Did you notice that? I was like, what? Well, it could be. My name's not on the phone yeah, number. The phone. Uh, he's not on the deed. 
Okay. I think on the specific entry under the name, and what it gives you is Jonathan, and uh, yes, homeowner, been there 13 years, estimated home value about 400. Uh, uh, there's 15 to 99 dwelling units in that building. Uh, his Jonathan was born in 79, and Elizabeth. That's probably who you were talking about. Was born in '44. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, that's the information we have. Maybe he has a phone number. She doesn't, and that's why it came out. So. Uh, I'm going to go back to search. That's her son. Yeah, that's her son. And are you listening to no, it happens. It happens. You don't understand. Dollar bonus for the buying agent. All right. See about that. All right. <laughs> Let me get in on this. I I have a, a a customer. I've been with the company for 19 years, but he's been a Bressler's uh, customer longer than I've been around. But I've seen him go from you know he had a very uh, humble home deep in the southwest in Miami. And now he lives in a beautiful mansion in Miami Lakes, in a gated community. And all he does, at first it was the book, then it was the CD-ROM. We had all of this in the CD-ROM, but it yeah. didn't have as much as this has now. And he does this every day. He gets ready at about 9 o'clock, he starts calling people, and he calls till about 12, he has lunch, Afterwards, he takes a shower and he dresses and he goes out and starts knocking on doors in his neighborhood. And because he has the pressers, he knows the name of the people and so forth. And he has made a very good living at it by just, you know, being uh, pers persistent. No. Persistent. 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 Sorry. And all he does is knock on doors. And, and call. And call. And call. Oh, in the morning from 9 to 12, he calls and he calls. And then at night, after you know he comes back home and he has dinner, he'll try calling until 9 o'clock, because then you're not supposed to call anymore. And he does a very good job of it, because he just just to give up, you know. I think one of those things it says there is you, yeah. you can't give up. So, Anyway, I think that's pretty much what it is. It's a matter of playing with it. Don't all go crazy and, and start plugging the system all at the same time. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. As someone who gets a little technologically challenged, oh, just and I like to be able to pick up the phone and ask a very nice representative question. Mm -hmm. Do we have that with this? Someone that if we get into a little bit of trouble or, hey, I don't really remember, is there, because I'm, I'm not seeing a help button up here. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, we, call call we Robert. Need help. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. Customer service. There you go. And it's a live person? Yes. And they, they speak only English because it's in Detroit. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I do a lot of sales in Miami. And even yeah. showing people that you have to put Fifth Avenue or Fourth Street or Second. And, you know, I have to write it down for them. It's first, it's T, second, because otherwise they, they can't find anything in the system. Yes, sir. Uh, and I noticed Avenue, I think you just put a, an B, a. a. or A, B. A or A, yeah. B. But so keep it's, it's short. It's all yeah. it contains. Yeah, yeah. And, and the other thing is, my, my boss always said it is, less is more with this program. So, you know, don't go crazy. Don't put the city. You know, I, we have that problem in Miami. There's a lot of areas that are not recognized by the post office and such, but that's what everybody calls them. Don't do that. Just put a zip code if you know it or leave it blank. Okay? I thank you very much. Thank I've you. never been in one of these that is that full of people. I feel <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.